Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Ma'am Raya, your English teacher. And for today's lesson, we're going to have another English grammar. And this is actually very helpful for those, yes, um, professionals who would uh, take English proficiency, proficiency test, get to their, yeah, related to their professions. And for, uh, as far as I know, this is also uh, one of the requirements needed when you would like to, uh, Yes, to be part of the of our team, <laughs> to be part of yes, uh, the Department of Education. So this is one of the requirements. I, I believe if you can get a good score, I think this is fifteen points of your total score is, uh, when you apply in yes in the Department of Education. Okay, so let's get start. Let's get started. Sorry for that. And by the way, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like my videos and also subscribe to my channel. Okay, so what we will do here is that I'm not being too fast. Okay, so I'll be posting ten questions for today. Yes, uh, these are one of um, one of the reviewers that I the, that I have just checked from our group page. Okay, so. I'll be providing just 10, okay? And yeah, for the next videos, I'll be also having another 10 sentences or 10 questions, okay? So after uh, providing the sentences uh, with the correct answer, then I'll also have a brief, brief explanation on why that is the correct answer, okay? So the first one we have here is, um, I hope you can see my mouse, yes, uh, the cursor, okay? I am interested, blank, receiving free samples of your product. So um, we have here, so, uh, the choices are, okay, is it in, to, on, or for? So what could be the best uh, preposition to, yes, um, to answer here uh, from this blank? Okay, so um, it's very... Uh, it's very helpful if you already know that there are actually some phrasal verbs that they should be together, that they, they are paired. Okay, for the adjective we have here is interested. And yes, it will always be, interested is always paired with the word okay, in. Okay, you do have here, I'm always interested in. Okay, I it's always interested in. It would never be interested to, interested on, or interested for. Okay, so there's no other answer but letter A, in. I am I am interested in. Okay, again, the, that is a phrasal verb that um, they should be paired together. They cannot be separated. Okay, there's no other answer there. Okay, I hope that helps. Okay, for the next question we have, okay. The lady blank in this city since 1997. Okay, so the choices, it lives, is living, lived, has lived. We do have the subject here, lady, and that is um, yes, singular in form. We may, we may believe that uh, we do have letter A here, the lady lives in this city. Yes, that could be possible, but... We do have the word here, since, and um, if you would like to consider reviewing um, some of the videos that we have, one of the videos uh, we have uploaded, uh, we have there, yes, um, the use of since in the, in our sentences, okay. When we use since in our sentences, which means to say that it's like for the period of time, okay, and when we do that, okay, we have to use Okay, the correct answer here is has lived, um, present perfect. Okay, present perfect has lived since, um, the, with the presence of the word since here. So, is this that is the duration of time? Okay, um, the lady has lived in the city. Okay, so it's like um, from, uh, yes, from nineteen ninety seven. That yeah, that's right. Until two thousand twenty one. Right. Yes. So she's still there in the city. So that's why duration. So that's the correct answer has lived. Maybe if we don't have the word since here, the lady lives in the city. Yes, for quite some time like that. Okay, we cannot use is living in here because yes, um, it's like being con yeah, it's, it's continuous. The lady is living in the city okay, for a short while. Maybe we can do that. Okay, but 
again with the presence of since that's why um it is it's like a duration of time so present perfect is the per is the correct um yeah correct word okay correct answer for this one okay i hope that helps you okay now let's have the third okay the third question here jack is blank a model airplane okay choices build builder built building so we have okay our verb is okay and jack is so it couldn't be build jack is build or jack is built okay so we have here the correct answer jack is building so it's in the continuous form present continuous jack is building a model airplane okay so because um jack is built it couldn't be um jack is our subject here so she uh, he is the one sorry he is the one building the model airplane present continuous okay sorry about that okay now let's have number four this lake is much blank than the other one near my house choices are deep deeper deeply more deeply okay we'll have to cons we'll have to consider that we already have our verb this is our subject here okay my cursor is yes it's good so um yeah much blank than so which means to say we are looking for an adjective here we are comparing comparison yes we also have one another video about that okay so uh, comparing adjectives so um much okay because we are using than here for comparative adjective for comparative adjective okay we have the correct answer deeper much deeper than the one near my house okay yeah so we use much here because this is already comparative adjective so we couldn't use a um, more deeper okay because it's already redundant okay thank you and we'll have okay the number five here after you collect the money you need to count blank it says it them itself they okay so we'll try to look for our okay idea the subject here is the money right you need to count what will you count it's the money okay it it consider it is considered as have a singular noun so yeah correct answer here is it so it um we can replace it with uh by the word money so we can say after you collect the money you need to count the money okay so if the money there we're talking about is it okay or the it here we're talking about is the money okay so it couldn't be them okay it's plural itself it's possessive and they it's another uh yeah another pronoun yeah so um it is the correct answer here okay yes now let's have number six okay the meeting was blank because no one has time to come okay choices cancelled b cancellation c cancel d cancelling the meeting was what the meeting was canceling because no one has time to come okay the meeting was what happened to the meeting what happened to the meeting it was it was cancelled okay so adjective okay yeah not cancel not canceling we're not talking about um what what's this um the action itself okay so just what happened to the meeting yeah why was the meeting cancelled because no one has time to come okay now let's do have okay number seven here okay so jane became an english an english teacher be, and i did okay is it become to well or neither okay correct answer here is i did too um i think that helps um because of the word and okay so and is a conjunction that you can use for two the same two con the same connecting ideas okay so the first idea we have here is jane became an english teacher so i also became an english teacher so i did too okay, we, jane and i are both english teachers okay so the idea is that so i did too it's positive okay 
So, yeah, it couldn't be neither. Neither is used for negative. Yeah, I neither did. Okay, so it, which means to say, yes, you didn't become an English teacher. But we will not use the word and here in that manner because they are, um, the two ideas are already contradicting when we do that because the first one is positive and neither is used for negative sentences. Okay. Since our conjunction is and, so that's why it's positive too. Okay. Yes, I hope my explanation helps you. Okay. Now we have number eight. You can either rent blank by this house. Okay, for the rule of using either in our sentences, so we can only use or, either or. If you have either, you use or. If you use neither here, you can use, you use nor. You can neither, uh, neither again is negative, so no can. You either, yeah, you can, you can either, you cannot, sorry. <laughs> yes, for nor, neither is for a negative you can either rent or buy this house the correct answer is or a positive okay we're almost done here okay number nine blank these dishes will take at least an hour choices choices i wash the wash washing or wash okay the answer here is washing okay why we're looking for the subject here and okay yes the only subject that we can use is washing since this is a gerund Ger um the other function of gerund is to uh, yes it could be used it can be used as as a subject gerund plus ing you have two plus ing sorry two plus ing equals gerund we also have one lesson for that yes um using gerund in our sentences okay, two plus ing can be used as a gerund and it functions as a subject in our sentences washing these dishes will take at least an hour uh, what uh, what can take or what will take at least an hour washing these dishes okay so the wash th these dishes so could it be I wash these dishes these dishes no it couldn't be so washing okay the gerund form okay now let's have the last number for today yeah, we felt that the recent reports were not particularly, okay, choices are informs, information, informative, inform. Okay, we do have um, present form of the verb, information, noun, informative, adjective. Inform is the plural form or the present, present form but plural. Okay, for, it's also, uh, it also functions as a verb. Now, we'll try to look at or observe um, the sentence again. We felt that the recent reports were not particularly. We do have the subject. We do have a subject. We um, felt is the verb. The recent report. Okay, we do have our, um, yes, um, direct object here. And um, they're talking about the reports here as not partic particularly is the um, adverb. We're not, okay, so we're looking for a word that describes the report. And what word is that that describes something? Okay, so we're talking about the adjective. Okay, we're not particularly informative. Okay, so particularly is an adverb that describes your adjective. So it wasn't really that informative. Okay, the reports were not that um, informative. Okay. Okay, so that's all for today for our, um, yes, very, what, um, very easy. Yes, I intend to have this easy, okay, easy level. Okay, this is uh, like beginner or elementary level. Okay, um, as time goes by, you will have to have uh, more, it, uh, to have it more complicated. Okay, so I hope this uh, helps for those who are just started and yeah, begin uh, beginner level or elementary level, uh, you can have uh, this lesson or review for you. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you so much for joining today's lesson with me. And I hope this lesson helps you so much. This lesson helps you in your review for English proficiency test. Okay, please do have a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone and hope to see you hope to see you in my next lesson. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Take care.